Hey y'all, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to Soul Some Foodie. If you would like to see how to make this delicious caramel apple sangria, just stay tuned. Here are the ingredients you will need. Some whole cinnamon sticks, some fresh apple cider. Here I have three different kinds of apples, a pink lady, granny smith, and gala apple. This is the star of the show in my opinion. This Kiss Caramel Smirnoff Vodka is so delicious. The caramel flavor is so good and so pronounced. You will also need a bottle of Pinot Grigio. Any bottle will do. This is an organic one that I really like. And you will need a pitcher, a cup measure, a cutting board, and a knife to slice the apples. Here I am coring and slicing the apple. So you can see I cut it in half and then in half again. And then I cut the core out by slicing in on the bias. It takes the whole core right out, super easy. I'm just gonna cut through all three apples and I'll show you how thinly I like to slice them in just a second. All right, so you can cube or slice these. I chose to do really thin slices, as you can see here. I wanted to go for that aesthetic. But again, if you wanna do a quick uh, cube on these, that's totally fine as well. Now that I have all three of my apples thinly sliced, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of all of my apples into the bottom of this pitcher, setting aside some for garnish. It's time now for me to add the full bottle of Pinot Grigio. I'm gonna do a hard pour, so I'm gonna turn it totally upside down, let the wine go in pretty quickly, that way it can start the oxygenation process. Next up is this Kiss Caramel Smirnoff. We are gonna need one full cup of this, and yes, I do add a little splash to each glass that I pour, just for that extra added flavor of caramel. But that's my business. Shout out to Tabitha Brown. In goes the vodka, nice and easy. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add this fresh apple cider. I really love apple cider because it has so many great spices in it, like nutmeg and cinnamon and clove, and so it adds a really nice dimension of flavor as well as some sweetness. So here I am adding six cups of that. At this point, here I am just giving this a really, really nice stir to incorporate all of those ingredients well. I would recommend refrigerating this just to let all of those flavors marry and get a really good chill on this for about one to three hours before serving. Here I am just showing you how I garnish a glass. I will go ahead and put some ice in and a few of those apple slices and then I will pour. This last step is totally optional, but here I am adding a little bit of club soda. I love the effervescence and the little sparkle that it gives it. It's just a really nice special touch. I'm going to lastly add a cinnamon stick in, and here is the finished product. This caramel apple sangria is so easy and so delicious. I can't wait for y'all to try it. Please let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.